Hi, I'm Professor Rotom. I'm a computer science master in computer networks and distributed systems. In case you want to be in touch with me, my email address is autumnb at yahoo.com. I'm here to make a presentation about cyclic redundance check calculation or CRC calculation. The subjects covered here are divided in an introduction about related subjects, the basis for CRC calculation, an example of data being sent through a network, an example of data being received and tested, and some considerations about CRC. CRC are used in computer networks, especially in link layer Ethernet protocol. Another denomination for a CRC code is polynomial code. That happens because a pattern of bits may be represented by a polynomial function in which the exponents are the order of the bits that are sent. It's possible to detect an error when a CRC code is pre-calculated and sent along with data message. CRC calculation is made by successive ZOR operations. So it's very useful to remember ZOR operation. The result of a ZOR operation is 1 if one of the operands is 1 and the other is 0 in any order. In all other cases, the result is zero. Let's assume that we have a transmitter that wants to send a message D with D data bits. This message must be appended with a CRC code calculated based in the data bits and in a known pattern of bits called generator, denominated by G. G is known by everyone involved in communication. It's the basis of CRC calculation. Obviously, first bit of G must be 1. Moreover, it's recommended to be an odd number. CRC calculation is based on obtaining the remainder of our division denominated R here. We divide D multiplied by 2 power R over G. D multiplied by 2 power R is represented by appending R bits 0 to data bits. See the example. D is equal to 100101 in binary and R is equal to 3. So D multiplied by 2 power R is equal to 3 bits 0 appended to D. Now let's see an example. Suppose that a transmitter host wants to send data bits 11110101 to receiver host. Both have the knowledge about the generator G. 101101. Before sending data, transmitter host must calculate CRC code to append to data, so we don't know what the CRC code is now. Here are the parameters for calculating CRC code for our example. We must divide data bits appended with 5 bits 0 by the generator. Instead of successive subtractions, CRC demands for successive exclusive OR operation. At the end of the division, 5 bits of the remainder are CRC code. So let's do the division with ZOR operations instead of subtractions. We'll go a little bit fast here. 
But I guess you guys know how to do this. Almost there. And when we get here at the end, we must get five bits of the remainder. Here they are, 001010. And these bits are appended to the ADA before they're sent because they're the CRC code. Now, transmitter host knows what CRC code must be appended to the ADA bits before sending to receiver host. When receiver host gets all bits, data and CRC code bits, it verifies by applying the same division operation with one only difference. It's not necessary to make d multiply 2 over r since CRC code is already known. These are the parameters for the receiver to verify if data bits are correct. Notice that data bits appended with calculated CRC are divided by the generator. So here we go again, but now we don't have five zeros appended to data bits. And at the end, the remainder, the remainder must be zero if everything is okay. So here we come. The remainder of this division is zero. So the receiver host just guesses that what was sent, he doesn't know what, but what he got, what he received, it's correct. Here are some CRC generators that are wide known because they're part of standards. CRC32 used by IEEE link layer protocols, I mean Ethernet, CRC16, CRC12, and CRC8 that's used by ATM in cell headers. There is some probability involved in CRC calculation process. A burst error with less than R plus 1 bits is guaranteed to be detected by CRC codes. Remind that R is generator's degree. Burst errors with more than or equal to R plus 1 bits are detected with probability 1 less 0 0.5 over R. Odd bit errors are always detected. Here are three excellent references in the subject. The first one is Kuros and Ross that present this subject in Chapter 5, Link Layer. Tannenbaum cover it in Chapter 3, Data Link Layer. Although an old book, Schwartz is a great math basis for the subject. So that's the end of the presentation. Thank you very much. Feel free to comment or send questions to my email address atomb at yahoo.com. See you.